Hi friends, it's Miss Ashley and I'm here with a story for you today. Today we are going to read Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug and this is written by Jonathan Stutzman and illustrated by Jay Fleck. Tiny T-Rex and the Impossible Hug. I have tiny arms. It is very difficult to hug with tiny arms. Each day I am growing taller, but my arms are still tiny. Hugging almost seems impossible for a Rex as tiny as me, but I will try anyways. Pointy needs me. Where is my father? I will ask him for advice. Hello, father. Rexes are thinkers, not huggers. Perhaps instead of hugs, math might be the answer to your problem, Tiny. Pointy does not like math. Math will only make Pointy feel worse. Pointy is Tiny's friend who's having a bad day. Hello, Auntie Junip. I have a problem. I must learn how to hug, but my arms are too tiny. I have found that balance is the key to every problem. Balance and freshly squeezed cucumber juice. That is disgusting. I will ask my mother for help instead. Tiny doesn't like the idea of cucumber juice. I'm not sure I believe him. I have fallen and now I am lost. I do not think I will find my mother in here. <gasps> Hello, mother. Look, he got stuck in the drawer. Thankfully, his mom rescued him. Okay, if you can't hug Tiny, you are good at many other things. You are kind and creative and braver than most. You are tiny, but your heart is big. I cannot hug with my heart, Mother. I must learn to hug with my arms. Tiny sounds like he is very determined. He's really wanting to work hard to do what it takes. Hello, sister. Hello, brother. Please help me. Hugging is very difficult. Oh, we'd love to help Tiny. There's his brother and sister. They're playing ping pong together. To do the impossible, you must plan and practice. Practice, practice, practice. Thank you, Trixie and Rory. That is good advice. That is very good advice, friends. Just like when we're learning to do things in school, like writing our names or learning to count or practicing our letters. It's not easy, you have to work really hard. I will plan my strategy. He's thinking out ideas, he's making drawings to help him make a plan. I will get stronger, I will practice very hard, I will practice my hugs on everything. You can see up here he's exercising with his brother and his sister, his jump rope. And down here he's practicing his hugs. Uh-oh. Is hugging ice cream a good idea, friends? No. Mm -hmm. I will not practice on that anymore. Friends, do you know what that is? It's called a cactus. It has little sharp pointy things all over it. Not a good idea for hugging. I am almost ready. I will practice one more time. When I am done, I will find my friend. This tree is very big like pointy. I will try to hug it. Look, he sees the tree over here. He's gonna go give it a hug. This is not a tree. I have made a mistake. Please help. From up here, everything looks tiny like me. I could hug anything I wanted. Look at friends, the pterodactyl scooped him up. That was the pterodactyl's leg he thought was a tree. Uh oh, now he's way up in the sky. I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh boy, now I am falling. I should have not let go. Now I will never find Pointy. Ah. <gasps> Hello, Pointy. Hello, Tiny. 
Oh, pointy looks sad. I am here to make you feel better. I have practiced very hard and hugged many things. My arms are still tiny and my hugs are still tiny, but I will do my very best because you are my very best friend. Tiny sounds like a great friend. Thank you, Tiny. Look, now Pointy is smiling. Looks like he's feeling a little better. Aw, that was the best hug ever. That was the biggest hug ever. The end. That was a nice story, friends, about working hard and being determined and not ever giving up. Even when people tell you you can't, remember some people said, you can't give a hug, Tiny, but he wanted to do it. And it was also a great story about friendship. Sometimes we just need our friends to know that we love them and that will help them feel better. I miss you. Stay safe. Be kind. No picking your nose. Be good listeners for your grown-ups, And I'll see you again soon. Bye, friends.